To most, coffee is as cut and dry as brew, pour, and drink. But there is a whole other world beyond that. What's the difference between a light roast and a dark roast? French press versus pour over? What even is an espresso? It can all be a little overwhelming at first, so I dove into the deep end, so you don't have to. The most important part of coffee is the method that you use to make it, the most common of which being the French press, the pour over, and of course, the espresso. The method we'll be talking about today is the French press. Out of all the methods that I just mentioned, the French press is by far the easiest to use. This makes it perfect for at-home beginners. I talked to coffee expert Sean from Clive Coffee, all the way in Portland, Oregon, for more information. You're just pouring hot water onto ground coffee, and then you're letting it steep, like kind of like tea, and then you're pushing the plunger down, and then serving. In general, there is much to love about this simple way of making coffee, but what's in this brew for you? French press is more, it has more body to it, um, and can have like more oils. While the French press method is great, it's not the only way to brew your coffee. Tune in soon to see the inner workings of the pour-over method. Reporting for SHS Today, I'm Sarah Burgess, back to you in the studio.